Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. This is episode 83, and we are kicking off the Tour de France. Stage 1 is just a prologue I'll be setting off here shortly. We're going to very quickly make our way through this and coming stages. Here's the deal. PCM22 is less than two weeks away. I have enough time for just three more episodes of this series therefore we're gonna have to focus solely on the mountain stages the time trials of the couple grand tours and maybe the the world championships depending on what we are up against for those but that's all got to take place in just three episodes so uh, super super difficult on that part i am going at 87 effort on this very technical prologue where it weaves back and forth and uh, you can see from my 87 that we can probably push a little bit harder here into 88 territory as we make our way along towards the finish we're going to back off to an 87 again after we round this corner just try to see it out to the end 2k to go now i'm on a zero for the race day condition but i still end up with a plus two to my prologue and we are now 1k to go pushing for the finish line 93 90 and whew, 25 seconds down not great as a prologger time trial is definitely my expertise and that was 98 percent prologue rating and we are already into week number two of this tour de france the first mountain stage is the col de la colombier so it's a huge climb already right off the bat we don't finish at the top we finish at the bottom down the other side so we are gonna have to keep an eye on how things uh, progress that was totally on me that one uh, Garrison's still up there but Goosens Dombrowski and Foss all caught behind the Delay the they are gonna make their way back up here though uh, I want them for the early stage of this climb once we get past this flatter section I want to turn it on I, I want to turn up the tempo and really hurt the field so we'll use uh, Garrison up first and then Goosens, Dombrowski and Foss to to lead things out and we are coming up on that flatter section here in just a moment the pack is increasing not its work rate. much of a climber for Garrison but coming forward on the flat is a lot easier to do 131 in the group just three left from the breakaway. They're down to two and a half minutes. They are probably not going to win today. And Garrison is now into this harder section, so I want him to push harder because, you know, he's oh, not much of a climber. It's not going to give us a lot of tempo through here. Goosens is definitely going to offer us a lot more. And he's actually pretty balanced, so we'll go 88 for a little bit. We're already inside 6K on this climb. I would love to be solo at the top. We've got some ground to make up. Now we've had one punchy stage in this first week of the tour. Quick simmed, did not lose any time. I've moved myself up to about 14th overall. As a result, there was about uh, 18, 18 or 19 riders, riders left in that front group. Dombrowski is hurting here. He is not quite as good as Goosens today, is he? Oh, three and a half K. Yeah, push harder. All right, go 99. Give me that big old acceleration. 3K. Okay, back to Goosens. Dombrowski, just try to break toe for a second. Get to the left-hand side. See how we're looking here. And on to Foss, who's a strong climber, so we'll go 85. 2.3K. Only 15 kilometers left. Go ahead and transcend. Is over. The group and speed has it up. Breakaway's hole. finally been caught. And we're going on the attack. 1K from the top. But I'd bet on some sort of tactical choice. We've and opened up a little gap. He's giving it one last go. 19 seconds clear. Coming up on the top now. One rider going clear behind us. So we're going to continue to push. 
We'll go acrobatic if this road eases off a little bit like it does here. Continuing to push, eight and a half K to go. We are 30 seconds ahead. Oh, they go down on the flat. Really? Fall in the pack. Apparently, uh, the leader is on the oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we can go acrobatic descent again. Come on, try again. Get clear. Five kilometers to the finish line. 38 riders with me, and we've opened up a gap yet again. I'm not surprised that I fell. I'm surprised that I fell on the flat. Straight downhill. I fell again! What the? Wow, game. Wow, okay. Move your way forward, because now it's 2k to go, and this peloton of 38, we're already a little bit too far back. Final kilometer. Sprinting. Groups all together. <laughs> Twice! Twice! Al Philippe, Almeida, Van Art. Oh, we should have gained 20, 30 seconds on these guys today. I'm lucky I'm not hurt. Field's also lucky that I fell not once but twice. Back to back mountain stages, and this one is just relentless one climb after another. The first few climbs, well, they were hills mostly, but we have three big mountain climbs coming up and I've lucked out today with a plus five on the race day condition I was a net minus two I started with a fitness peak at the beginning of this race was supposed to have a plus three on that prologue had a zero that day so that was a minus three we had a plus two on that last stage when we should have had a plus one on the day so uh, this actually gives us a net positive for the time being and the peloton is already down to 78 riders and i'm already down to just foss that's how weak our team is on this one first climb first proper climb and i'm already down to just a single rider and you can see how foss is barely hanging in there right now he might not make it to the top of this first climb on the day assuming he's going to be out any moment and he is and it's pretty far from the top so i have a feeling we're going to Get down there and uh, he will not be rejoining us he's a minute and a half down already yeah and I never did get water let's get water ourselves here that'll be enough to get us to the end of this race Oof! I thought that was me again down to 28 here in the group the yellow jersey is in the breakaway Van Art it is Van Art in the yellow jersey Adria on the attack. One of the Bernal is on the down. attack. Apparently he didn't interfere with the race. Anybody uh, interested in catching this? No, nope, just more guys interested in going. All right, let's go. We got a plus five. We can't let Bernal just that? go take the race the right now. The 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 okay, we got the red bar. Yellow's not hurting line. too bad, but my heart rate is quite high. Cannot keep this up for too long. And that's that. Nobody's going to work here, are they? Group's getting caught. Back together, 36 riders. Let's attack the group. Okay, it's all back together. Let's set up. Champison has gone with me. Nope, back together again. Group of six. Bernal. Still attacking somehow? <laughs> okay, there you go. Group of six. Out to a minute advantage. Hindley is here. Bernal, Manguzi. Champasin and Mataway. 41 second advantage. Bernal not working with me. Come on, buddy. Why not? Why wouldn't you want to work? This is getting annoying, though, that even Bernal will not work with me. 
feel like we're gonna have to sit on or something but we can't I mean we can't afford to Henley on the attack Henley that's gonna use up his attack. energy though so that's good how is it that I'm the favorite yeah see I sit up and guys attack kilometers to the finish line. McNulty Paulus everybody's attacking here now 12 and a half K to go nobody wants to work well, Champasin decided he wanted to work now a little bit, right? 11k to go. Down to 13. If we just sit on, we're going to get beat bad because of the lack of energy that we have. Wait, what do you mean there's a front two? There's only two guys attacked, and I already brought one back Hinley. in. Hinley and Almeida are still off the front? Okay. There's now just 10 kilometers miscalculated left. how many guys there were. They are actually chasing. That's good. Roglic is doing the work right now. Gel finally just kicked in. 7k to go. I do not have much for the finish, but Bernal is finally doing some work. And we're closing those two in, and we've dropped some riders here. Finally, some cooperation. 5k to go. Down to 8. It's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. There are just five kilometers left. Down to 5k. But also very much down on energy as we're reeling those guys in. Here goes Bernal on the attack. Again, an attack is but it's still 3.5k. I don't have the energy to do anything here. But hang on. 1k to go to the top of the climb. 2k from the end of the stage. Several and Bernal is out to a minute and a half advantage. I would attack, but there's no such thing. 1k to go. And, a well one. and we get second, maybe? I made a steal second on the line. To With the lunge, I get third on the stage, though. But Bernal's going to gain a large advantage today. But go figure. I mean, that guy is 85s at freaking everything <laughs> well that stage was enough to level up this is uh, 19 out of 20 of our levels that include attributes now by taking time trial we get back to an 85 for the mountain we also gain a point for resistance time trial and prologue both going up sprint going plus one that is a huge level for us for one thing we get out of the 50s 60 plus in everything but we get that 85 back we had it and they took it away from us, even though we weren't supposed to lose it on a previous level up. Uh, but we're also getting that resistance point, and then both time trial and prologue. That's going to help our chances a little bit with things to come here in this final season. And we're on stage number 10. Back to back to back mountain stages. We did have a rest day in between. Bernal is not the leader of this race, even though he won by a minute 10 on that previous stage. Bernal is third overall. I am second overall. Almeida is in the lead of this race right now by a few seconds. This time we are putting our team to the test to see what they can do. Jones is giving his all at the moment at the front. Uh, I'm currently in the middle of the formation as we are on the second of three climbs today and two Allscat, one hard climb. Jones is used up, so we're going to get on to uh, Delay here. And it looks like we're going to use up our weaker guys on this first climb and then the uh, get out there with the better group, group. Uh, as we go on. I'm going to drop back one position now that Jones is out of the equation. I don't want myself too far back with the... the uh, Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. With how busy the field is at the moment. 144 riders. Uh, we were supposed to be done with water, but... Uh, Powers was the one on the assignment, and Powers, uh, Only a just like Delay here, going the wrong direction. Front. On to Garrison now. Three and a half K to go to the top of this climb. Not much of a reset, and Garrison whew, struggling to keep up right now, even with his 65s. Making our way back forward here, though. Garrison actually making some decent progress. Down to 98. On to Goosens. Boss is in place. 
So looking good on that front. 99 Riders coming up on the top. I currently lead the KOM and the Young Riders classifications. And there we go. Now we're All on to uh, Goosens. He's going to go 85. Going 15K. We're going to put pressure on early. Breakaway really got a huge lead, lead today, by the way. Far, going to start up. Just plus one for me today. Uh, so we have the expected. Not going to make me as strong. But we're going to put this pressure on early in the climb. Make it a decisive day. See what we can do with that. On to Dombrowski. 48k to go overall for the stage. It's not going to be a solo victory by any means. But it can very well be a small group on a day like this. And we're going to be on to Foss now. Still 9.5k to go. We're going to go 80 now. Down to 58 riders. Catching up to the first breakaway rider. They had an 8 minute advantage. They're out to 9 minutes now, but that's how spread out that group is already. Down to 7.5k. And 45 riders. And Foss is done. Oh, the list of those left behind goes on rising. Okay, next attack. Now it's Palace and Roglic. Let's follow Roglic this time. Seem to have hesitated there for a moment, but this time. Down to 22. Palace just off the front, but Bernal pulling him back. Two and a half K to go to the top, and there goes Bernal. Let's ditch half the group and pull back Bernal ourselves. 1.4 K to the top, down to 10. We just dropped six riders. Down to three, and we've caught up to Bernal. Continue pushing as we get to the top. Vlasov, Bernal, Palace. And we are solo at the moment, trying to catch up to those two. Do so here shortly. Catch up to those guys. So let's go acrobatic descent for a moment. Hopefully we do not crash a third time trying to do this. The back is not fighting for it. It's clear as day. Hand up. Get that water. Oh, come on. You're right there. You're right there. Catch those two. Catch those two. And we've made it. We've made it. Vlasov and Bernal. The riders are entering the last 15 kilometers of the stage. Okay. Made it to the main group. Not a lot of energy, but Bernal doing the work. Palace has made it back on as well. Be nice if the four of us could hold off all the chasers, but that's very much not the case. We have 11 now in the peloton, but Bernal being forced to do all the work gives us a little bit of a chance here at the end of this stage. Getting something either way, 11 is a small group and very well could include missing one or two key pieces as we now have just 5k to go with a lot of that downhill. End, let's use the, the gel now. Manguzi has won the stage, he's still well placed, I think. Two and a half K. Slow down for the finish. 1.8 K. Here goes Bernal. Things are hotting up at the front. Inside the final K. And now I want to sprint it out. If we can get past these guys to the inside in inside on this right hander. Ugh, that extra whip around to the side. It's gonna get me second over the line, but there's no time bonus at this point. Bernal is gonna get a few seconds over the chasers. Contenders at the front, Manguzi, Gil Martin, Van Hook, Quintana. Thought Quintana retired, but apparently not. Maybe just in my career mode. Okay, so we ended up on same time, but Manguzi has taken the lead of the race. He was already well placed, but he finished six and a half minutes ahead of us today. That took a four minute deficit and turned it into a two and a half minute lead. Manguzi, 81 mountain. Not going to be the easiest one to dethrone from the yellow jersey. So Almeida slips to second, we slip to third, and Bernal slips off the podium as we all picked up same time. Hindley is only one second 
and then Vlasov one further second back. So it is very, very close between the five of us. Then you see a roughly one minute gap to Hamilton, Soler, and then another minute to Van Houck, uh, who just moved up with his finish. Dina moving up as well. So you've seen a handful of breakaway riders suddenly find themselves back in the mix. Points, non-factor, KOM, we are fifth now following a big mountain stage multiple mountains so the breakaway picked up a ton of points today especially when they hung on and won the stage i already have a five and a half minute advantage kustinov and skelmos uh, a venipole too far behind to challenge so young riders classification that is mine but we very much have a five horse race plus a mongozi who has now found himself in the mix team is already well 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 off the pace of Ineos and Dukenic. that's going to do it for this episode though we made it through 10 stages very quickly there three mountain stages already out of the way you figure there's going to be about three to four more of those hopefully uh, an individual time trial I have not looked at the profile of what we are in store for though I'm Decathlon Gamer like comment subscribe see you next time have a good one be safe out there Bye for now.